In this video, we will discuss some basic parts of vectors. The first one is law of polygon. This law states that if a vector polygon be drawn, placing the tail end of each successing vector at the head, the resultant is drawn from the tail end of the first to the head of the last. Suppose A, A, give me time, this is the vector A, B, C, D, E are five vectors and the resultant vector is to be found. Now we place on the head, we place the head, uh, give me time, we place the head of vector A, the tail end of vector B, tail end of vector B, tail end of vector B and the head of vector B, the tail end of vector C, the head of vector C, the tail end of vector D, the head of vector D and the tail end of vector E in that manner, vector D in the in E in that manner. Now connect the tail end of vector A as the polygon law suggests that the connect the tail end of vector A or uh, vector A and the head uh, and the head or arrow end of the vector E, like this is the tail end of vector A, uh, tail end of vector A and the head of vector E. If we connect this thing like this, that like that's the way, oh, give me a time, it's wrong. Uh, okay. Then that will give us the resultant vector. So the R will be vector of A plus vector of b plus vector of c plus vector of d plus vector of e so r vector or r vector equals to a plus b plus c plus d plus e but the here the catch point is the head of the point a will be at the same time a tail end of vector b or uh, we can also if we want to find the resultant of this vector uh, resultant of this vector then here we connect three vectors a b and c so that will be uh, we consider this as q then the q will be a plus b plus c hope you under understand the law of polygon then coming to this next part is subtraction of vectors. We know we can add vectors and also we can subtract vector. Subtraction of two vectors means the addition of one vector with negative. This is the important point. Negative vectors of the second. Suppose P and Q are two vectors and we want to find the difference C of P and Q. Then we will add P with the negative vector of Q. Then we can write this as P minus Q. This is known as subtraction of vectors. Vector addition laws are also applicable in case of vector subtraction. Here we will discuss the triangle law and the parallelogram law. Now first of all uh, give me some time to remove this thing. Now, first of all, we'll discuss the subtraction law using subtraction using triangle law. Suppose P and Q are two vectors, like uh, give me a time. This is a vector P and this is a vector Q, both acting on a point O. So we mark this as a A and this is as B. Then, then head arrow point of Q, like Q point, the head arrow of point Q is this, this point, and the head arrow of point A is that point. If we connect these two, if we connect these two, that is, uh, give me a time, that is B A, that is B A, then B A equals to P minus Q. 
this is known as subsection using triangle law as the catch is if you want to uh, uh, if we want to subtract q to p then the vector arrow will be come from q and to p n if you want to find out a b then the that will be q minus p and the direction will be then then the direction will be then a to b so now i think i we understand subtraction using triangle law now coming to the second one is subtraction using parallelogram law subtraction using parallelogram law so first of all i draw a vector p this is a vector p and this is a vector q this is a vector q both acting on a point o we mention this as a and we mention this as b then we take we take the we we extend we extend ob to c and as is its heads are in the opposite sides of q that and ob and ob equals to oc that we can represent this as minus of q now if we take like uh, give me a time sign this is o if we draw a parallelogram using oa and oc then the parallelogram will look like this way and and that will be the diagonal of this parallelogram and that, that, that will give us the resultant vector r so if i write this as d then we can write od equals to r equals to p plus minus of q or we can write this as p difference q so this is known as subtraction of two vector using parallelogram law now we will discuss some laws of vector addition first one is cumulative cumulative law pardon me for my mistake cumulative law suppose p and q are two vectors then by the help of cumulative law we can write this vector of p plus vector of q like vector of q plus vector of p this is known as cumulative law then coming to the second law which is associative law associative law states that if we i add one more vector is vector r then if i add first p plus q and i add this p plus q vector with r vector we can also write this in that way p plus q plus r i add p vector with q plus r vector so this is known as associative law then now coming to the third law which is distributive law suppose m is a scalar quantity then if i write this as m into p plus q then i can also write this as m into vector p plus m into vector q this is known as distributive law i hope we understand this three law of vector additions one is cumulative law the second one is associative law and the third one is distributive law in our next lecture we will discuss on resolution of vector and components